and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Hecarim Monkeys. This is going to be a plunder deck based around Bilgewater and Powder Monkeys. We're going to have Monkey Business, Monkey Idol, and Powder Pandemonium. That's really what this deck's built around is this Powder Pandemonium card. So this will summon a Powder Monkey and give a random enemy vulnerable this round for each time you've activated Plunder this game. So we need to play a lot of cards that activate Plunder. There's uh, there's been times where I've played this card and I thought it's been kind of like like Gangplank's level up of just like how many times you've dealt damage to the Nexus. And no, this is like how many times you've activated Plunder. So that means like playing a card that has the Plunder text. So we gotta have lots of cards with the Plunder text. So we're gonna have our Jagged Butcher, you know, Monkey Business has the Plunder text. And then we're going to have another card, uh, like Black Market Merchant. Then we're going to have another card that goes great with the Powder Monkeys with Jagged Taskmaster. It has that plunder text, and then it can grant our one cost allies everywhere, plus one, plus zero. So whenever we're putting in Powder Monkeys, they're now going to be three ones instead of two ones. All right, so we're activating plunder a bunch. We're getting a bunch of uh, monkeys. We're, uh, you know, attacking and blocking with our monkeys and stuff like that. And then for the top end, we're going to have Hecarim because all those Powder Monkeys have Ephemeral. And so if we're attacking with them, um, we're going to be leveling up our Hecarim. So we just need to attack with seven Ephemeral allies. And then we have our Overwhelm, uh, you know, leveled up Hecarim that's making those Powder Monkeys even larger and doing all of its cool stuff. Uh, Monster Harpoon, another good card with Plunder. Citrus Courier got Plunder, that kind of stuff. So uh, we're going to have Gangplank, Hecarim, Twisted Fate. Those are going to be our champions and then a bunch of uh powder monkeys and stuff we're gonna we need to be able to do nexus damage to enable our plunder so we got parlays and warning shots uh that can do that and that's the deck so let's give it a try this is uh hecarum monkeys this is a deck from unhelpful yoda that was here in chat yesterday saying they've been uh playing this deck and doing well with it and so uh i'm gonna play it on stream today there we go game playing sejuani oh that deck's so good I guess we're probably going to face Gangplank Sejuani at least two times, maybe three times, because we're playing a Gangplank deck also, and they usually do pair you with similar decks and or same decks. So I'm going to keep Parlay and Warning Shot. Or so sorry, Parlay and, and Black Market Merchant. I'm kind of thinking maybe just those two. And I think I like Parlay more than Warning Shot. No, actually, let's just keep Warning Shot. Okay. Okay, got a couple warning shots. I never I'll shoot the wings off a bilge wasp. Finger on the trigger. Came a long way both. Alright, so if we want to help level up Gangplank, we could use a warning shot this round, but I think that I think we can wait, but maybe maybe I'm just supposed to do that. Oh I wish I would have done it. We're going to Merchant into Idol. So then we'd use the other one on round three here. Ooh. Um, I could also just take it. You know, let's just take it. Wow, they're really nabbing. I don't really need the black market merchants anymore. So I took two extra damage. These still traded, but I took two extra damage to have a one cost cheaper harpoon. Now, of course, we didn't know it was just going to be harpoon. Don't 
Alright, so we're both at three out of five. Oh, they stole my glimpse beyond. All right, doing that so that they want to or enable plunder, they have to attack with their black market merchant into my powder monkey. Dang, they didn't. Uh, now I can't really play gank. You know, so I was hoping they would do that, but now if I play gank, now I can't play gangplank. Yeah, I can't play gangplank now, because if I do, they challenge my powder keg. We got nine cards over there. Dude, our deck is awesome. Nice to meet you. I'm Isla. Alright, this will enable... Like, this will level up the Gangplank. I can also, you know, glimpse beyond my own Powder Monkey to level up Gangplank if this doesn't work. Do that anyway. Water is mine and mine alone. Everyone pays. All right, GGs. Because yeah, now Gangplank, of course, just attacks and kills him. How about that? We defeated Gangplank Sejuani with a bunch of monkeys. There we go. So last time we played against a Gangplank deck, this time we played against a Shadow Isles deck. Keep Jagged Butchers and the rest back. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep that parlay. Because that's the thing, is like I have the attack token round one, so I want to play the Jagged Butcher round one. Uh, so the parlay. Oh, parlay would have been good against Spark Beast. Okay, I mean, I'll still take that. We trade and I get a 2 1 left. So not the best for me, but I kind of need to do it to enable plunder for these other things. Ugh, gross. Good card to have, just block there. What? Man. Not looking good. Not looking good at all. Great hand for them, though. That 1, 2, 3, 4 curve. Wow. Well, at least it wasn't Diego. Alright, so now, even that 3-1 can block a Fearsome. Quite good for them. No. 
We need Hecarim to do a whole lot. Because we nabbed probably the worst card in the deck to possibly nab. Guess I should have blocked that instead of the Mist Wraith. Strong hand. So while it's not over yet, it's definitely looking like one and one. It's not over yet. All right, it's over. What a hand. Everything lined up perfectly for them that game. GG's. Elites. Right, let's see how monkeys do against elites. Okay. We're gonna have Monkey Idol, Monkey Idol. I guess Monkey Idol's not really very good against Demacia because the Demacia already has the, always has the challengers, they just challenge like your 05. Yeah, it's kind of rough. All right. That's kind of like the strength of our deck. It's like what our deck's built around. Eh, rough. Yuck. This hand. <laughs> okay, well, we found all of our top end. Sturdy blades, custom made. Ready for deployment! Um... Yeah, not good. Okay. That card's playable. The finest Demosian steel. The other one, I'm not going to be able to give Challenger. Yeah, how about that? So that worked out fairly well. Grabbing them Fleet Feather Trackers. Here. Yeah. Okay, because I would love to block Garen and block Gangplank with Garen, right? Like, I'd love to, to do that, but... Alright, so that was, that was our worst Mega Rain we could have. We aggro, we attack in. We lose in. So we've, we've been. Uh, we've played plunder cards twice? Yeah. This would make two counter monkeys. Gross. 
kind of have to play this. Just get, get bodies out to block. Glimpse Beyond or Monkey Idol? Probably Monkey Idol. Alright, Gangplank's still pretty good, and Sharp Sight is even better. Sharp Sight really hurt us this game, obviously, killing my Hecarim and uh, everything. Last two opponents have had wonderful, wonderful hands for like their deck. What their deck's capable of. Okay. Well, that's pretty useless. I'll take it though, whatever. Could have easily killed me. Do we have any deal fours? I don't know, a bunch of warning shots? One and two with the Powder Monkeys. Uh oh. Yeah, like I'd rather face the Elites than uh, Thralls. We had to do something before round three, right? Like, that was a horrendous hand. Alright, so we have Monkey Idol on three at least. Um, going 2 2 Jagged Butcher. Nice. Alright, got 3 3 Jagged Butcher. That's a big difference. Not a good parlay or make it rain matchup. So we kind of have just Jagged Butcher and Monkey Idol right now. Because they don't play any small units that these would kill. I'm really hoping we draw Gangplank. <laughs> I'm just kind of going all in on like level on a Gangplank. I think that's probably my best plan. That early damage in. No Lissandra, please. No Lissandra or Tavern Keeper. Mm. Yeah, like this hand's not winning any kind of late game. This is three opponents in a row, though, that have, you know, essentially perfect hands. Like, this is... It doesn't get any better than round one Frozen Thrall, round two Curator, round three Lissandra, round four Curator, plus... You know, like, you're, they have a round four 8-8 eight, eight attacking. It doesn't get any better than that. So we still get to do three. Hopefully nab something like a frostbite card or something. I'll 
take a Preservarium also. Gosh. How do we now cure it? Or the... That's... Again, worst card in the deck to nab. Really the only... <laughs> the only unplayable card. Alright, there's our Gangplank. We're at 4 out of 5. Gangplank gives us hope. Never mind. It's lethal. What a hand again. GG's. It's really difficult to have Thralls attacking on round 4. That's really difficult to do. So looking at like the, you know, this monkey business, whether or not to keep this. And I think we will. So we're going to have Crackshot Corsair attack on round 2. Enable Plunder. And then be able to play Monkey Business. Which... Maybe it's just better to play the Jagged Butcher. Save Monkey Business. The thing about Monkey Business is it enables... I think we play it. It enables Plunder next round on round three. That helps level up my um, Gangplank. Kind of fil fits in the curve here. Because now we can play Monkey Idol on 3, Monkey Idol plus Butcher on 4, Gang Plank on 5. By war. This is what the monkeys can do. They can just get in the way of blockers. Or attackers, sorry. They're getting in the way as blockers. Challenge Monkey Idol. Hmm. Neither the flames nor the depths could claim me, Cam. Can you improve perfection? So I'm going to have to glimpse beyond a monkey before attacking if we want to level up the gangplank, unless we top deck warning shot. Warning shot? No. So we got a glimpse beyond a monkey. That will level up gangplank. We get our draw two. Couple good ones to draw. Go attack. Oh, that, they really didn't do very much. So I think about play, we could play the monkey business. No, because they just they just throw these other things in front of the monkeys. It doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, yeah let's just attack. It will not break me. That's the most health they can save. Alright, so down to five. Like a four, three. Like they basically have to kill me next round. Or if it's better better to nab. Maybe it's better to nab. Can you improve perfection? 
Because how they kill me is, you know, elusive on this Ballistic Bot. And so I nabbed looking for something that would stop the Ballistic Bot. But we're just drawing units. I, I guess I should have saved the Make It Rain. Do they have rally effects? with Okay. That keeps keeps him alive for a second, but the monkey business will finish it out. All right, good job monkeys. So I think they were going for being able to in response to my attack you know, probably shoot me with, like, get excited plus Mystic Shot. But the monkeys got there. Alright, so yeah, so finished up with another win for the monkeys. Um, I like the deck. I think it, it ended up being pretty good. I, As far as, like, some changing anything about it, uh, it's, I kind of forgot that we had Jagged Taskmaster and Mirai Warden, right? Like, those are cards we didn't really see. Uh, for like some earlier bodies, but um, I, I really like Make It Rain. I could definitely see playing more Make It Rains. I'm not sure if like Parlay is just like that much better than Make It Rain, that we should have three Parlays and only one Make It Rain as far as, uh, um, you know, enabling Plunder and stuff like that. I don't really like the Citrus Courier at all. That was not a card that seemed like it would ever matter. I, I wouldn't really recommend playing Citrus Courier. And I do like Harpoon because it, you know, it's again another card for Plunder. Um... So that's pretty good. I think Powder Pandemonium kind of underperformed. Uh, I, I don't know if you need three of them. I think it, it could be like a nice little trick for like a top end thing, but that seems like like a one or a two of type card, not a not a three of. And Mirai Warden is perfectly fine, but we're trying to do all this Powder Monkey stuff anyway. So I think I would kind of get rid of those and play like another Harpoon, another Make It Rain. And then, I don't know, maybe keep the Mirai Warden. Um, or I could also see, you know, maybe maybe playing like some Fortune Croakers, though. They can give you a body and give you some card draw. Because, uh, you know, we did see that, like, having card draws isn't always easy. And the Glimpse Beyonds, while I like Glimpse Beyond, I think the Glimpse Beyond is, you know, pretty unreliable. And so I don't know if I, you know, because then, you know, opponents can respond to it and everything like that. I just want some, like, Fortune Croakers, I think. Like, like maybe another Maker Rain, maybe another Harpoon. Um... And like some fortune croakers in here that those are good with with the monkeys like how we saw like multiple times we need to like kill monkeys draw it to enable plunder like the fortune croaker can do that same thing it can you know deal one to the um to the monkey to enable plunder so there we go maybe just like one powder pandemonium and get another either glimpse beyond or for fortune croaker whichever one you like more get another one of those in there I think that that croaker could could be just a good follow up to like you know round one butcher round two fortune croaker, get you that body. And keep the card draw coming. All right, so there we go. There's Hecker on monkeys. Pretty cool little idea here though. Pretty cool little deck. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. We ran into a couple opponents running hot. That thralls opponent you know, had a great hand against the elites. We really had a poor hand. We couldn't play anything until round four was the first round we played anything, you know, so we didn't have the best of luck in here, but um, I think the deck looked pretty solid and the monkeys uh, performed well. All right. But anyway, that's going to be it for Hecarim monkeys. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.